Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I wanted to show you the lower decks garden boxes and how the spinach has really taken off. So you can see, you got some really nice leaves on here. Paula's going to be so happy when she gets back from California because she's been wanting to make a salad with this. And so we're going to have enough for at least a, a partial dinner salad between this spinach and the one over here on the other side, in the other box. And you can see the, uh, this is doing pretty well. We had some slugs get in this, this box. So I had to put some of that sluggo in, but they ate some holes in the, some of the kale, or not kale, chard. So you can see these are kind of chewed up on top. I don't know though. I mean, if it was a slug, you'd think it'd be lower. I don't think it's one of those, uh, those white moths, because I haven't seen any uh, hatched worms in here. Unless there's some leaf cutters that are coming in here at night. But I did see some slugs over here on the kale, and I killed those off because I haven't seen any more. And that kale looks really good. I mean, it's really full. I harvested some of this off earlier this week for a, one of my dinners. I've been eating pretty much uh, salads and eggs because I hate cooking, <laughs> especially after driving home in my hour and a half commute from work. <sighs> anyway, so uh, here's the other spinach. That's coming along right, pretty nice. I mean, these were just little guys last week. This, this warm weather we've had is really and this really is good spinach. I took one of the leaves down here. I cut this one off here because it was hanging over. It was just asking to be eaten. So I ate that one. And you can see here's our uh, some of the onions that Paula puts in here. You can see the regrowth on that one compared to last week. And look at how big these are. I mean, these are ready for another cutting. So we'll be cutting these off. I mean, look at it's gotten so heavy that it falls over. So Paula can harvest off some of these when she gets home. As well as you can see, the garlic chives have really started to thrive over here. And here's some more kale. Here's some of the kale that's gone to seed. So maybe I'll get some seed and I'll drop it right back in there. And here's the, uh, the beta salad mix. You can see some of it's already starting to bolt, the, uh, the beet heads. So I'm going to let these go to seed and see if I can collect some seed off of those. And the arugula looks like it's starting to bolt too putting on some flower heads so and this the thing about this arugula I took this and planted it in the, uh, the garden box right down there two years ago and then it went to seed and I grabbed all the, the heads before they dropped and I took them up on the hillside up there and I let them go and holy mackerel we had tons of the arugula just growing like crazy out there and of course it winter kills but you know, we got a whole second crop of arugula by just going and digging around in the bushes because I thought it was, I didn't think it'd reseed. And, you know, it was when I first started doing the, the gardening pretty intensely and getting into the permaculture. And so we had to go scavenge and, I guess, graze for our food. <laughs> the, the true sense of the word. And then here's some of the, uh, the tomatoes that are left on the deck. These are basically the, uh, the pink boar. And then these. I don't know which ones these were. Oh no, these are the pink boar. They've gotten so heavy that they're they're falling over. They need to get in the ground, so that's next weekend's project. Oh, that's the Moskvich and the uh, Crimson Sprinter. That's right. Those are my mid-sized tomatoes. So those are going to go in the upper garden boxes. Because they get a lot of heat up there. And those those two garden boxes up there, they really, they really do good for tomatoes. They're also going to have eggplants for the first time this year so I want to see how well the eggplants do up there all right well this is the lower lower deck garden boxes with a little bit of rambling from the uh, the dirty gardener <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys again this has been Brian from PMB homesteading bye